welcome to the WoodCam and Packet demonstration video. Today we're going to show you how quickly and easily a job can be entered into WoodCam and exported to a CNC machine. The first field is an automatically allocated WoodCam job number. I now press tab on the keyboard as I make my way through each property. Today's date will be selected by continuing to tab. A drop down list allows you to select who is entering the job. The remaining fields allow you to enter as little or as much information pertaining to the job as you like. The customer property has a drop down list keeping a record of all past customers. You can also select delivery dates giving the guys on the floor a delivery target through the use of labels. Now moving down to the room section and using the menu arrows on the left, select add room. This section allows you to enter default materials for all the cabinets within this room. Enter the room name via the drop down list or enter your own. The product sizes allows you to select predefined cabinet sizes. Select the door drawer style. Here we've selected a flat panel. Choose the material of the doors and drawers. Now select the edging. Now select the exterior material. This is all applied panels, fillers, kickers and all exterior parts of the cabinet. Select the edging of the exterior material. Now select the interior material of the cabinet and required edging. Select the drawer system you intend to use. Now select the handle type for this room and the hinge series. Select a countertop type. Select a handle location and the costing which will be applied to the production of this room. We've now set up the default values which will be replicated into each cabinet. Now we're going to enter a base cabinet. Select add item from the menu arrows on the left. Select the item group then select the cabinet type from the drop down list. Product height is the height to the top of the bench top. Product width is the overall carcass width. And depth is the carcass depth. Product options, accessories and defaults allow you to change and add various selections. This cabinet is now finished. WoodCamp also has the ability to give a price estimate for all cabinets. Now we'll enter a base drawers unit. Select add item, then base drawers B4 from the drop down list. Tab down and enter a width. Here we'll enter 4 equal drawers. Now click on the D beside drawer detail to edit each drawer. Now I'll change the height of the top drawer and all other drawer heights will recalculate. Click save. This cabinet is now complete. Product accessories and defaults allow you to apply further settings to this cabinet. The last cabinet we'll enter into this demonstration is an L-shaped base unit. Select Add Item and select LS Base B4. Tab down and enter the product width. This one will be 950 by 950. Here we've set door hang to a bifold on the left and a standard on the right. Select shelf options from the drop down list. This option is three adjustable shelves. This cabinet is now complete. Product accessories and defaults allows you to apply further settings to this cabinet. Doors on back simply allows for doors in the back of the cabinet. Now that we've finished entering all the cabinets for this job, right click and select export to CNC processor. Click export. This will take a short time for the data to be calculated. When finished, right click on view list. The first section in packet gives you a list of each part within the job. The second section gives you a view of the part itself with all machining as well as edging and the measurements. The third section gives you a list of all the machining and the fourth section gives you the details of the part and details of any machining you've selected. 
The final section gives you a 3D view of the product. By pressing F6, this will generate the layouts, and by pressing F6 again, this will optimise the layout. You can see on the right the percentage of board used. The highest in this job is 94. You can also navigate back through each sheet. Here we've only imported three cabinets, but with many more cabinets, this figure will reach the mid-90s for most boards. The last step is to push F8, which will allow you to print sheet layouts and labels and send data through to the CNC machine at the same time. You can see that in just under six minutes, we've been able to take this job from plan to production, automating the whole process until assembly. Thank you for taking the time to view the WoodCam demonstration video and happy cutting. Thank you.